Well, hello there. How are we all doing? Welcome back to my channel, guys, and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Firstly, apologies if this video is going to be late. We all know I like a routine and a schedule, and my Wednesdays and Sundays uploads may be thrown off a little bit this week because we are uploading this pretty much live in the moment. I'm going to vlog over today and tomorrow. I've got a couple of things that I thought I would just pick up the camera for and just have a bit of a catch up firstly as I am fresh back from Parma after spending a lovely few days there with my soon to be sister-in-law for her Hendu as my brother is getting married literally in a matter of a few weeks now which is just crazy to think my baby bro is getting married but he is and it is a fast approaching so yeah we had a lovely lovely time in Parma I didn't um hold on let me move you down a sec I didn't vlog just because I thought well it's not my Hendu to vlog and you know meeting groups of um ladies that I've never met before I just wanted to be fully in the moment enjoying my few days that I had there so what I did instead was take a few little snaps of what we got up to what I was wearing that kind of thing over on my Instagram so if you haven't already I have highlighted a little highlight called Palmer on my Instagram which you can catch up if you wanted to see what we got up to over in Palmer the last few days which honestly I have to say is stunning I definitely want to go back I didn't have a chance to do much of the exploring of like the architecture and all of that kind of stuff as it was a Hindu. We were just, we were there for girls time and some sunshine, good food, drinks and yeah. So I will definitely be back. I'd quite like to go back with Tom actually, just the two of us, maybe stay somewhere on the marina. Um, but yeah, I would say it's well worth a visit. It's just a short flight as well, although we had a little bit of a hiccup on a route out. We were okay. My mum and I, we actually flew from Manchester Airport. The other girls flew from Leeds the uh, like an hour or so after us. So they were due to land an hour or two after we got there. I think they must have arrived seven or eight hours after us in the end because of delays for one reason or another. So their flight was a bit chaotic, their journey. But then as soon as they arrived, we all settled in and then we had the best few days and then en route back mum and I's flight was delayed for a couple of hours so I didn't get back till about midnight last night no a bit earlier than that maybe about 11 probably didn't get to sleep till about midnight but yeah I had a bit of a lion this morning not too much of a lion like half seven eight ish got up walked the dog had some breakfast went for coffee with my mum she's now gone home and it is what time is it it's one o'clock and I have all of this to sort and unpack, tidy up, I've got some washing to do. So it's one of those days this morning, firstly a fresh hair wash was needed as well. I literally got on the plane. Mum and I had, because our flight wasn't until the evening and we were all having a pool day that morning at the hotel. We were literally swimming, diving in the pool and then out, sun dried us, quick change and then we were straight to the airport. So yeah, my hair desperately needed a wash this morning. So yeah, feeling much fresher and better, but yeah, today is just one of those days to get stuff done. I did come back to a few PR parcels actually. I'll show you those now. I thought you might be interested to see. This one actually, I've had a quick sneak peek at and I'm so excited for this. It's from Moroccan Oil. And if you don't already know, Moroccan Oil is, I was gonna say one of my favorite hair oils. I think it's my favorite hair oil. It's the one that I go back to over and over again time and time again it's just a good classic oil that i pop through like i've just popped some in now so as soon as i've kind of freshly washed and curled my hair i just run the oil through the ends and it just helps keep it in good condition but this is like a product made for me i love my purple shampoo and especially if you're blonde you want to get rid of the yellowy tones in blondes for a more brighter cooler toned blonde then this could be really interesting. It's their new Moroccan oil treatment purple. You can apply to damp hair as a foundation for all hair styling or apply to dry hair to help smooth frizz. So exactly how you would ordinarily use it, but with it being better suited to those who want that ashier kind of look. Oh, it's very fancy this box. But yeah, how nice is this? So I will give this a good go and let you guys know what I think. This is actually a really good size to take with me when we go to, I can't believe I'm going away again next month, 
and we go to Cos it's not like me to travel this much I am the sort of person that gets a little bit of travel anxiety I would say I mean anxiety suffers in general tend to anything out of their comfort zone and as much as I do love travel and I do it ju I just find it quite tiring that's the main thing um so yeah to be going away for my third trip of the year already in again <laughs> a matter of weeks excuse me um it's crazy that's it for me that's that's crazy um but yeah i am so excited to give this a try and this will be a good size to take with me so i'll give it a couple of goes beforehand to make sure i like it and then that could be a holiday essential i'm feeling a bit <clears throat> after the aircon in the flight in the room at the hotel um anyway pixie have very kindly sent over a few of their products from the rose collection so i prefer personally their glow tonic which is more of the orange one but they have this rose one which is very nourishing it's got elderflower in it and then they also have sent over a radiance perfector which is a skin illuminating enhancer and a conditioning lip oil we'll try the little lip oil on camera oh it's got minty it says it says glowy lip oil minty it's one of those rollable applicators which i don't actually like myself and i've just ruined it by putting a load of lip liner on it but a subtle little bit of gloss it's not too glossy i'll show you the illuminating perfecto whilst we're here Ooh, it's quite a thin liquid obviously as you can tell a lot came out it feels nice and light look how pretty that is and with my kind of coloring i'm going for more pinkier toned products it's not too rose either because i don't really like the smell of like florals and roses then i also got some bits from be perfect cosmetics from the lovely team there they have sent over the radiant glow ekin sue she's got a range with be perfect speaking of ekin sue is anyone watching love island having just started let me know if you're going to be watching because i certainly am it's a multi-use skin perfect it kind of looks like a foundation in the bottle See how it comes out a bit tinted. Yeah, that's definitely, in comparison to the previous one, a more gold warm tone. Wow. How nice is that? Oh, that's beautiful. That in summer, over your entire, especially on a no makeup day, over your entire face and like neck area. She pops them on. Let's pop some on my chest. Oh, that is so pretty. The shimmer. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love that. Oh, yeah. Big, big fan of that. Also, the Chroma Cover. This is a medium coverage soft filter luminous foundation. Indestructi Brow Pencil, which is in the shade, oops, in the shade brown. Actually, as far as browns go, that's not too dark. That could be all right, actually. Full Impact Complete Coverage Concealer. And then lastly, this. Is this a little palette? Oh, no, it's a Luxe Powder br Blush. Not brush. Blush. Scorched Helios. Nice, bright, corally pink for summer. So thank you so much to the team at Be Perfect. And then the last package that I came home to was from Brand Nation. They very kindly sent over, which is like an agency, a PR company, they sent over this. Silken 7 IPL device with rotatable head. This is a IPL sort of like laser hair removal. Do they call it laser hair removal IPL? Is that what that stands for? To achieve permanent hair reduction in hard to reach areas leaving your skin silky smooth and hair free. As for now, I need to have a bit of a tidy up this afternoon. But then tomorrow, I will take you guys with me into town because I'm actually booked in with the uh, current body team who do the LED face masks. You've probably seen a lot of people using them lately and I really wanted to get my hands on one. And yeah, so we're going with them tomorrow to have a 30 minute facial in town. So I'm gonna see, I don't know what devices they're gonna use, if they use that or not, but I'm gonna speak to them either way and then maybe look to get my hands on one because I really want to give it a go. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy spending the rest of this day with me this vlog with me these couple of days with me probably and again apologies that it's probably going to be a late upload this one um but yeah i'm sure you guys won't mind and then obviously back to 
my usual routine from Sunday onwards, hopefully. <laughs> Let's get back into the swing of things. Starting with a clean, tidy, and organized. replica rediffuser that I got recently from Sephora smells incredible perfect for the kitchen it's called from the garden I also thought I would talk to you a bit about my book of choice I have been reading a court thorn with rose Zakatar series I have begun I am this close to finishing the first book so I'm like two-thirds of the way through maybe even a little bit further I took it away with me did not in fact, no, I tell a lie. I read like a chapter at the airport during the delay, but otherwise we were just chin wagging the whole time. It's probably why my throat's a little bit sore, actually. That's what I'm thinking. It's the mixture of aircon and everything, but actually it's probably from talking so much these last few days. But yeah, I have really been quite surprised. I'm enjoying it. I'm not like obsessed with it yet. But I have been told that that is to come obviously with the rest of the books and I am intrigued to see where it goes. So I will give it a go. I'm on chapter 32, about to start. So we'll have a couple of, in fact, I'm probably not far off. If I give it a good reading session, I, I think within the next couple of days I'll finish that. Cause I don't have loads of time to read loads. Well, I do have the time. I choose to watch Love Island instead. <laughs> so that is why I'm a slower reader. Um, but yeah, I thought I would mention that I'm really enjoying that. Um, I'm gonna light a candle actually. This is the one that I've got on the island currently that I picked up from TK Maxx. It smells nice. I wouldn't say it's the strongest, but it does smell lovely. It's quite fresh. It's called Garden Verbena. I always like to set the mood. We've got a wash load on. We've got some more washing to pop away, but I'm gonna wait until the other wash load is done so that I do it all in one go. I was about to pop the lid back on then. And now I think I'm gonna get on this sofa for the rest of this afternoon. I've got the doors open, letting in some fresh air. It's a bit stuffy in here at the minute. Um, we got home last night and Tom had been cooking and I was like, it smells of cooking. So I'm just airing it out today. Hence the candle, the new rediffuser, and um, yeah, so I'm going to plunk myself on the sofa, I think, for the rest of this afternoon with my laptop, get on with uh, catching up with my emails and catching up with some TV, Love Island, got Made in Chelsea to watch, what else have we got? I'm sure there's probably something else as well. It sounds like a pretty dreamy afternoon to me. <laughs> Guys, I picked up these from the airport and they, they're dangerous. <laughs> Little mini milker, alpine milk chocolates. I've just popped in this bowl over here. I've probably had one 
too many already, seems as though it was an airport gift that I brought back for Tom. <laughs> I can't help myself, they are just delicious. I just said this little parcel arrived, so I thought I would just quickly open it up. Bit of a different glossy box this one, because look, we've been given a bag. A zipper, kind of like makeup bag. How pretty is that for summer? Lovely little holiday pouch. Love that. So anyway, what else have we got in here? Oh, one of my favourites. Nivea Soft. Again, perfect for travel. I've mentioned this before as like just a good throw in your bag because it's good for face, body and hands. And then we've also got from Gatino Collagen Ceramide Smoothing Cream. A anatomical New York, London, Paris, and foam fashionably fruity body cleanser from Lottie London. This is their Ready Set Go setting powder, a little mini one again, good for travel. We've got the Hawaiian Tropic. This is just like the smell of holidays now. <laughs> Hawaiian Tropic Island Resort Fragrance Mist, and then look, we've actually got a product from Made by Mitchell. This is their liquid blusher, Melon Sorbet. Just do a little swatch. Gorgeous for the summer months. So, so pretty. Just blends out really nice. Love that. Good morning, we are fresh faced. As you can tell, I have just parked up outside of where I am about to go in to meet the current body team and have my little facial this morning. I was so torn between driving or train, driving or train, and I thought I'm gonna have to set off at the same time anyway because of traffic and because of train times. So I thought, you know what, let's just get there and decide to tr decided to drive. Even though there's a little bit of rush hour traffic because it is 10 past nine, my appointment's not till half nine. That's the only thing when you're driving in rush hour. You've got to allow time because you don't know how busy it's going to be. But it wasn't too bad. But now I'm just kind of sat anxiously waiting to go in. I always get like this with appointments. If I have to be somewhere at a specific time and I'm early, I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? Um, especially as it's literally just across the road. So I might just head in, have messaged them to see if I can come a little bit earlier. But yeah, what a nice little treat to start the day and have a nice fresh facial, which I'm very much looking forward to. I didn't even do skincare this morning. I thought, you know what it is with getting a facial, if they have to remove all your skincare and makeup and stuff anyway, I figured we'll skip the skincare routine this morning and just go straight in with a facial. I ended up having a fairly early night last night. I'm still like sleepy from holiday. Oh, I think because we would just go, go, go all the time. Even when we were at the beach club or sunbathing or whatever, we were just chatting the whole time. But I'm just like, oh, I just need a day to just do nothing. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. So probably the perfect time for a nice little morning facial treat. Put Bunny in daycare this morning, but I'm gonna try and get him before the afternoon session so that um, we can maybe do a walk this afternoon. It was tipping it down when I set off as well, so I was thinking um, a good time to put him in daycare is when it's tipping it down. Um, but hopefully if the sun comes out later, we'll have a nice little afternoon stroll. And Tom's working from home today, so I think he might be cooking us some yummy dinner. Oh, look at that sunshine coming out. What did I just say? The sun is coming out. Too caught up to see. Hey, nice to you. meet you. What a lovely trip. I know. <laughs> Today I'm using the radio frequency device first. Okay. I don't know if you've heard of that. So the radio frequency device, it uses radio frequency to produce collagen. Mm -hmm. So what it does is, um, it's just like a 10 to 15 minute treatment, just focusing on different areas. Normally we focus it like around this area and here, where you would normally like start to get some lines. Mm -hmm. And then what it does is it heats the skin up to a certain temperature and then that then produces collagen. So it does, all you'll feel is a bit of warmth. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and then we just finish off with the LED mask and then that's the 10 minute treatment and it just turns itself off after 10 minutes and after that it's really nice. And that's the same one that people can get themselves sort of to do at home? Yes, so everything I'm using today you can buy it off okay. your body to Amazing. use at home. I'm going to pop some of the uh, uh, radio frequency gel first mm -hmm. so then that activates it. So I'm going to do it just in sections. So I'm going to start off here. The main benefit to this treatment is to help with fine lines and wrinkles. Yeah, right. So okay. with the radio frequency, it's so it's an anti-aging device. So it helps with fine lines and wrinkles, but it also fits a skin tightening device as well. Mm -hmm. Then obviously the LED is kind of like it does everything. So it's anti-aging, but it also helps with pigmentation and it's an uneven skin tone. It's brightening. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. So I'm just going to start with the radio frequency now. So you will start to feel some heat in a minute. Mm -hmm. Well now I'm going to pop some of our hydrogel eye masks underneath your eyes okay. and then I'm going to pop the LED mask on then and it's just okay. boosts like the hydration under your eyes. Right, so I'm going to turn it on now mm -hmm. and then I'll just let you look up. Yeah, I think a lot of people expect it to be a lot harder. Yeah. But it is a silicone mask. Yeah, no, I did. Right. There you go. Thank you. Oh, it's a bit breezy, you might not be able to hear me actually, but fresh face, all finished. Lovely little treatment. And I have a bag with some bits in to share with you when I get back, but I'm just gonna put, pop it in the car. Sorry if it's windy. Um, and just pop over to Primark, I think, whilst I'm here. Have a quick look and then maybe do a Primark call next. We'll see, see what it's like. I didn't expect to spend this long in town. I ended up spending three hours on the parking, which is fine um, because Primark was so good and it's actually quite warm. <laughs> the sun's come out now. I've just looked at myself and forgot that I didn't have any makeup on. <laughs> Very brave of me to be walking through city centre going shopping completely bare faced. So, pat on the back, proud of myself. Anyway, I'm gonna head back home now. I just grabbed myself a, it's a bit warm when we open these windows. Grab myself a coffee from Blank Street, because as we all know from the last trip there, which was my first ever trip to Blank Street. Matcha just isn't for me, it's not for me. Ooh, 
Okay, it's a bit breezy. As far as decaf coffees go, that is a pretty good one. Okay, you're probably not going to be able to hear me. If I have the windows down, pop you there and get out. I also got some of the banana bread to try. Some lip balm on actually, because my lips are quite dry from holiday. I didn't take any lip balm at all with me, and I wear lip balm pretty much most days. I just had like lip glosses, which aren't as hydrating, and especially being in the sun, I almost feel like I might have burnt my lips a little bit, but. Laneige to the rescue. This is their vanilla lip sleeping mask and I love it. So anyway, let's try, shall we? Blank Street banana bread. It is a chocolate banana bread, which I didn't realise. Mmm. It's quite big. Choc chips. Love that. Oh, what a lovely morning. As you may be able to tell as well, there are a few Primark bags in the back, so best believe we are doing a Primark haul next. Let's get on the road, let's get some music on shall we? Or shall I listen to a podcast? I'm listening to, I was halfway through one on the plane so I could finish that, uh, the girls bathroom. I have a good giggle on that and also I was listening to Newlyweds and also there is a new episode that I downloaded of the Diary of a CEO podcast that sounded quite interesting that I thought kind of related to me I mean it's titled the pregnancy doctor pregnancy halves every year after 32 I'm 32 so I don't know if this is gonna scare me or I'm gonna learn something but yeah we'll, we'll maybe listen to that it does say if you want like a big family with more than two children you need to know this which I think most people if you're wanting a big family with um four children then you kind of have to start earlier than 32 but I will give it a read, read, listen, I'm right home. Nearly home and I've decided to pick up Barney from daycare um, so that he's in just for a half day today. Um, but before doing that and before going to get him, I need to just get a couple of food bits at Aldi but I thought I would take you with me just purely because it's been so long since I've been to an Aldi and not, I don't know why but yeah. For whatever reason, it's been a while, so I thought we could have a quick look down the middle section. Middle of little, except it's not little, it's Aldi. What do they call it? Aldi Special Wise. I'll switch to my phone and show you if there's anything exciting, new in. What day are we on today? Because they get new bits in. Oh, it'll be tomorrow they get new bits in. So it might not be that great, but we'll go have a look anyway. We've got this range which looks really nice, the Pure Wick glass block handle, um, we've got three different scents, Serene, Peace and oops, Relax, which is vanilla and rose, but they've also got them in the Reed diffusers for $3.49, so yeah, I love the kind of like aesthetic of them, you can smell them at the top, they've got like a little wooden lid. These are great, I've had them in the past for Barney in the summer from like B&M and places like that, but they're always like a really bright blue. And I always wonder why they don't just do them in like a natural colour. So now that I've found them in grey, I've just picked one of those up for Barney. They are $6.99. And then these are quite good as well. They're actually in the sale, Sunshade Dog Bed. Although I'm not going to get one, but yeah, that one's $14.99. And they've also got little pet pools and sprinklers ahead of summer. I also get these doggy licks. They often do web box the licky licks, um, but these for me are perfect for getting Barney to <laughs> keep settled if ever we need to go to the vets because he just gets too excited and does zoomies and I think it's nervous energy. But because this is like a little paste that you have to like push up for them, they lick. He uh, really likes them. So yeah, we'll grab a couple of those ham and cheese and chicken and peanut butter. Got lots of garden bits in at the minute, different toys, accessories. Um, oh, in fact, we do need a hose. But I might leave that to Tom because I'll probably get like the wrong length or something. Oh, they've got the air beds as well. Good for if you've got guests and don't have lots of space for spare rooms set up. We actually use these for Christmas when we have friends over. They seem to have this new range in, like a crockery range from Crofton it's called, where it's like half white, half stone. This is an example with the jug. 
jug is $7.99 and then they've got the other tableware from $4.99. $9.99, which I think is great value for money. They've got these wooden cube planters. I'm not going to pick one up, but I am just going to show this video clip to Tom to see if he likes them for maybe outside the front of our house or even around the back actually, as soon as they were not far off having the garden finished. Guys, if you know, the fairy in wash scent boosters are white, and I've talked about this before, so you can pop them in a jar on display with a little wooden scoop or something, and they're actually on sale in Aldi. We also have this range of candles. I think I prefer the look of these ones, actually. This one is Relax, Bergamot, Lavender, and Patchouli. They've also got Revive, which is Rose Geranium, and lavender or lastly they have this one unwind clove amber and sandalwood so these are just a few bits that i got from haldi we've got that cooling mat the doggy licks some hawaiian tropic 15 factor 15 sun cream then i also I've tried these before so we'll give them a go dr Bettman cleaning sheets toilet Did it say yes yeah, citrus sensation and then these i don't know what la lilies are but £3.49. We got our last lilies from Aldi. Tom bought them home and they lasted so long. So, um, yeah, these ones look a little bit smaller. I don't know if that's just the difference with LA lilies or I don't know. Um, um, no idea what colour they'll be. But yeah, that is my little mini Aldi haul. Just come in this front room because Tom is on a work haul. Thought we would come in here and unbox what current body very kindly sent over. They did mention about a new laser hair removal device that tends to be quite popular that they might send over to me because I really want to give that a try. So unlike, I was asking her the difference between an IPL versus a laser. So it depends on your preference it's not like one works and the other one doesn't um but the ipl so for instance the device that i was sent this um did i open it yesterday i think i opened it yesterday with you from silken which they used to stock current body was saying that they did use to stock those so the difference being with ipl it's more surface level so you would need to use it over a longer period of time and also ipl is better for like pigmentation so of the skin Whereas the laser is a bit more targeted to the hair root removal. So like if you were to go into a laser clinic, the ideal candidate for laser hair removal would be someone fair skinned with dark hair. Um, their results will be more noticeable as opposed to someone who has very, very fine light hair and really tanned skin. So anyway, that was really interesting, kind of learning the differences between the two. So I would be intrigued to give their laser hair removal a go. But anyway, their little uh, goodie bag that they gave us includes good old water cup, good for hydration. I didn't have any of the breakfast there, so I thought I would take these to go. And they are the shredded bar. They're called Chocolate Brownie Crunch gooey salted caramel plant-based protein bars i think i've got a discount code i do so if you guys want to get your hands on the current body mask or their products the discount code is freya f c b for 10 percent off we've also got a current body skin hydrogel face mask this device which is the first one that they used on me so this is i, I don't know if it's new or not but i think it might be it's their um, RF, it's called. The current body skin RF visibly improves fine lines and wrinkles, tightens the skin throughout the power of RF energy. Got another hydrogel face mask and a lip mask as well. From Shreddy, some super greens pre and probiotic for beauty um, and superfood greens blend mango and pineapple flavor, this one is. Wow, we've spoiled us, there's loads in here. There's also an anti-wrinkle mask, smooths your lines, smooths your mind, it's 100% silk mask for um good for travel that as well and then also a mini beauty based protect all in one moisturizing primer from sculpted by amy this is an spf 50 which i wear every single day spf 50 and then from the hyaluronic acid and sea moss oh sea moss has anyone actually tried eating sea moss this is a hydrating mist good for use in the morning and the evening for all skin types should give it a little test run because I feel like I could do with a hit of hydration. Oh, that is a really fine mist actually. 
Oh yeah, I like that. Feels lovely. I imagine that on holiday would feel so nice. Hey, Jade Gua Sha. Gua, Gua Sha. You can't say you can't say that without sounding pretentious. <laughs> try it. Just try saying Gua Sha. So good for sculpting, for using with your facial oils. When my nails has come off, so I'm gonna have to redo my nails this afternoon which is annoying thank you so much to the team current body for a lovely little morning i'm just gonna carry on being makeup free today i feel like i might as well it's already getting on for half one o'clock half one o'clock half one <laughs> but yeah i really want to try and get this video uploaded in time for you guys which is within the next four hours that's not gonna happen okay well again apologies if this video is later than usual but i hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless and of course stay tuned because my next video is gonna be a whopper of a primark haul so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed thumbs up if you have don't forget if you wanted to catch up with our hindu escapades over in parma that we have just spent the last three days in then be sure to find me on instagram and search that highlight to see what we got up to thank you again for watching and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys